do they want to make some money? Okay, what were what were you see you offering to pay you? It just depends on what I can pull out. Like were you like 20, 50, 50, no. 80, 20? Like no, what you guys discussed? Um, a couple hundred. Did and I didn't. No. So if she was to cash fifteen thousand with an ID that's not even her, she would only get a couple hundred. We need to find this lady so we can help her. There's no way. There's no way she said yes to doing that. There's no way. What is up, YouTube? It is your boy Tex Chris coming back again with another video. And today, it's about the title. We're reacting to a story with a crazy, crazy title. 61-year-old arrested after attempting to withdraw 15000 with a fake ID. Ugh. Let's hope you're having a wonderful day. I see she didn't. Uh, let's get right into it. On May 19th, 2023, officers were dispatched to a bank following a report of potential fraud. They were notified en route that an elderly white female was attempting to withdraw $15,000 using a fake ID. Oh, that's crazy. Intriguingly, the actual owner of the account had visited the bank earlier that same day. Somebody just set that lady up. <laughs> Somebody set that lady up, and that's no good. I don't think that had to be her. Somebody set her up. Well, I'm sorry. sorry. Yep. I'm yeah, sorry. You? I no, she has money. Okay, let's. Here, let's go talk in here. So hi. Right. I wonder what she's thinking right now. She came in with. What's your name, ma'am? <laughs> we are very familiar with. She's correct. I'm not. Well, okay. Well, let me hang out with her for a second. Sure. Talk to them. Uh, so are we gonna bring you talk real quick? Sure. Yep. So I'm thinking somebody set her up, right? That'd be the most obvious thing. Did you drive her? No, friend drove me. What kind of car was the friend driving? Um, SUV. I mean, what color? Black. Do you remember what make or model or anything like that? I think it was a Nissan. I don't know. Uh, who's your friend? Is he a male white, male black? What's that? Is he a male white, male black? Male white. Okay. How, how do you, you come to his acquaintance? Through a friend. Okay. Where does he stay? See, when somebody's getting scammed and they're telling the information to the cops, and I know sometimes it's easier to scam elderly people or very, very younger people, but like whenever the cop is asking them, what I've seen in a lot of the videos, whenever the cop is asking them, Oh, this is a friend. What's their name? Such and such. Where do they live? Oh, I don't know. What's their phone number? I don't know. How long have we known them? A couple of days. So y'all are willing to do anything without getting all the information? Shit, I better know their, their blood type, where they stayed the past five years ago, their phone number, their address. I mean, you got to know everything if you're trying to do something like that. I don't know. Let's see how it ends. Got a ride from a guy you don't know just through an acquaintance. I know him, and I know him through a group. You can go to the conference room. Okay, and then you can talk to the conference room. I'm just going to make a call. That's right. Quick to keep, and then I can get back to you. Keep going. Yep. Okay. Uh, right here is good. Right here? Yep. You can have a seat or whatever you'd like. Okay. When we figure out what's going on. Yeah, just, just go ahead and set it down for right now. Alexander, read this just real quick, okay? You're the right to remain silent. She's getting her Miranda rights read to her. I don't understand what she means. 
Now, do you want to I told him what I know. Yeah. The okay. gentleman who brought me is, I met him through a good friend named Gary. Um, and he picked me up in a car. Is he is he parked out somewhere? No, he's gone shopping somewhere here in Joliet. Okay, so he's not out here at all? No, not in this area, no. Cassandra, that yeah. driver's license, where'd you get that from? He gave it to me. I don't know. Do you know how? Oh, no. Oh, no. I know he asked to take my picture the first time I met him. Okay. That's how he got my, I wondered how he got my picture. No I feel bad for this lady. She she seems innocent, you know. She but seems no innocent. I've never seen or do I carry. But you're saying that that is not your ID. No, that is not. Okay. It's your picture, though. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. Right. I, I don't know how he did it. What? And I, I'll be honest with you, as an older woman, I didn't ask a lot of questions. Obviously, I should have. What was what was the whole yeah. discussion? <laughs> I want to make some money. Okay. What were what were you see you offering to pay you? It just depends on what I can pull out. Like were you like 20, 50, 50, no. 80, 20? Like no, what you guys discuss? Um a couple hundred. Did and you? I didn't No. So if she was to cash fifteen thousand with an ID that's not even her, she would only get a couple hundred. We need to find this lady so we can help her. There's no way. There's no way she said yes to doing that. There's no way. There is no way. Fifteen thousand, and you're only getting a couple hundred. Maybe I heard that wrong. Ask the how it's. That should have been my first two. So what, I didn't want to know. What was your plan today? Well, I need to make four hundred dollars. I have a car payment to make. I've lost my job. I understand yeah. that. I'm sorry to hear that. So it was to like come to, to here. Okay. Um, wherever this is appropriate, and um, I make a withdrawal and I get a. He just hands me whatever. What did he hand you? Today, just the ID. Okay. Did that that slip that the other officer I has filled over this there. Out. You filled that out? Uh -huh. Okay. And I can't see it from here. Can you just verbally tell me what it says? It's the date for me, her signature, and I was gonna write down the amount. I think the lady, the young girl did that for me. Because I asked Okay, her you know that I'm gonna keep it going, but I would have felt bad. Well, I kinda so do feel bad because she's her for money, like everybody else. But you don't just force nobody's stuff, you know what I mean? You don't force nobody's stuff. Their signature, their name, their address. Come on, man. Like, give me an idea. Like, if there was a hundred thousand, you would take ninety. Discuss that. If there was five thousand, take three. If there's ten thousand, take nine. Did you meet him? With the intention to do this, like you, you guys talked and no, we he was like, "Hey, that we were introduced at the, my friend's house, and I honestly was only meeting." No, um, it was not any big discussion. So, when when did you guys come up with this this plan? Was it in Gary? In Gary. Yeah. Okay. He he had the plan. He was just looking for the person to. Because I didn't, I didn't plan this with him. I, you know, he had this all planned. He obviously knew how to do whatever they did there. She's a victim. That's so all it is. She's just a victim. How long ago was it that he took your picture? Probably about a week. A week ago? Uh -huh. Okay. So did he? Private he, number. I just made sure it's not my husband. Did he tell you what it would be in reference or to, to be used for? Meaning the picture? Yeah. Was he drive? What's that? Was he drive? A black Nissan. So basically, he got her a fake ID in less than a week. What I just uh, got from that. She had said earlier, uh, SUV. You guys got here. Did he park? What happened? No, he dropped me off. And then which direction did he? So how is she? I don't know. If this I is can't. looking at the front door. 
Here you go. This way, this way. I just make my head hurt. Me trying to pull little pieces together. I wasn't really paying attention. I was. So what was the plan from there? If if everything went right. That I would just walk out and walk. If that's the front door, I was to walk that way, and he would come and find me. Pretty easy to identify. How many times have you done this for him? Twice. Twice including today or twice additionally to today? Twice before today. Where did you do that at? It wasn't in Joliet. Well, where was it? One in Indiana and one in Illinois. Where at in Illinois? That would be the hard one for me because I'm not from Illinois. Black Nissan. I want to say... Crete. Crete? Crete, Moni. When was that? Might have been Monday. Today's Friday. Yes, ma'am. Monday. When you went there, who were you on that day? I don't remember. Did you have an ID? Yes. Was it the same ID you used today or a different ID? Different. Okay. Was I mean, it, it wasn't that name. Was it your picture? Yes. You don't remember what the name was, no, though? No, I'm sitting here trying to remember my... What did you remember what you... Tell one lie, you gotta keep up with the rest. Withdrew that day? What amount? Three. Three thousand. How much Three. did... He, how much did he give you from that? 300. 300? She's only getting 10%? Oh, no, nah, lady. We got to do something about that. Okay. <laughs> and then we got to do something about Indiana. that. What day was that on? Monday. Also, same yeah. day? Later what? in the afternoon. How much did you take out in that time? I don't remember, sir. Well, what, what like approximately? It was under five thousand. How much did he give you for that one? Two. Two thousand? No, two hundred. Two hundred. Yes, I never made more than a couple hundred. Do you remember the ID that you used on that one? It just looked like an ID and it had my picture. Not my was name. it, the, do you know, was it the same one that you used in Crete? No, it was a different name. Was it an Illinois driver's license or no, Indiana? it was Indiana. But this one also had your, your uh, picture on it? Yes. You're going to take me away, aren't you? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. We're, that's what we're going to find okay. out, Okay. I mean, obviously, it's it's clear you you've done some wrong. I know. Yeah. This is She's done some wrong, all right. I'm just okay, here buddy. helping. Okay. I don't want to be this hard. Well, I, I I wish it wasn't for you, but it's not right. Here. Fortunately, we we get dealt the task at hand. Doing job. I wouldn't want to be a police officer. I wouldn't want a son who was. But nowadays, only great profession. You're 100 sure of a black SUV. Yeah. So she didn't drive there, and she was gonna walk into a a guy picked her up, the guy that she does crime with. I'm surprised the police hasn't set him up right now. Oh, honestly. Hey, that's what I just said. And then grab her. If, after you he picked, the words grab, but... No, pick you up. Thank you for kindly stopping me at the front door, sir. It could have been stupid and ugly, I'm sure. No. Uh, no. This is stupid and ugly enough for me to act to. Poor lady. The guy just took advantage uh, of her. Just out of curiosity. You I mean, but she, of course, she did have some wrong yeah. in her heart to... Okay. No. Take somebody's it's money and identity, no, but sir, poor lady. No, we are going to have a female come and, come and search you. No needles, no knives, no, no. nothing like that. No. Nothing that's going to poke or stick her. No, I would not do that to her. No. <laughs> Carry on anyways. All right. I just told him I don't have anything that would poke you. I don't have anything. I'll let you make sure of that. Okay. I don't have anything that would poke you or hurt you. Appreciate that. It is not perfect. No, <laughs> you 
You want me to stand up, buddy? What's that? You want me to stand up? I wonder if she have a family, you know? Family group chat probably going crazy if they see Granny on Busted. You do feel bad for her, but at the same time, she did commit the crimes as well. You know, is it okay with you if I turn this on silent? Please, okay. Like, morally, I know she's wrong, but like, deep down inside my heart, like, of course, I'm not the I don't judge, like, I'm not the judge that of this deciding factor, but she did do wrong morally. But deep down, you can tell that she probably didn't want to, there's probably a need for money, but still. Bro, what? They got a Crown Vic in 2023? Out of curiosity, as we were. What, what does he, what's he look like? What's he look like? Lady, you better get all the details if you ever do it again. I hope you don't. I hope you learn your lesson this time, but they took advantage of her. Bad. I'm about to say, she better not be going in the front seat. Huh? Hey, look at that, you want something new every day. <laughs> that wasn't in my tutorial of uh, uh, training. Uh oh, wow. Sneaky, I got you, don't worry. I'm kind of shaky at 61. Okay. 61 years old. Oh, what do you do with your hands? Uh, uh, just kind of put it back to the if you want. You can oh, go okay. Kind yeah. of, uh, uh -huh. You can twist a little bit. Hold the lady gets the whole thing. So you don't have to lean on it. Okay. Oh, it's about okay. thunder yeah. So she, I'll go down with you. She admits to doing at least two additional. Yeah. One in somewhere in Crete Monique using another Illinois ID with her picture. Doesn't believe it was the same name. There's no bank. Wow. No. Uh, says it was on Monday. Uh, and then one in Valparaiso, Indiana, with an Indiana license that was also. Oh, she's crossing state lines. Okay. Maybe we'll so get back we'll to follow call. back and yeah. we'll post it. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Wow. The woman was. 
was charged with fraud against a financial institution and possession or display of a fraudulent ID. Do you believe that the woman was genuinely apologetic for her actions? And do you think she will learn from this experience? Share your thoughts below. Yeah, well, that's going to be it for that. I, I hope the lady gets help she needs, and I hope she never does it again. Ever. Leave me down, or let, let's let let's see what you think. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you check out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more of the videos I've reacted to. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Text Chris, we sign out. Peace.